first on behalf of SVKM's Usha Pravin Gandhi College of Arts Science and Commerce, I would like to welcome you, sir. Uh, thank you for removing your uh, time from the busy schedule for this webinar on the art of balancing mind and heart. Thank you, sir. All to you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, you know, it is um, always, uh, I think, uh, my privilege, my honor to to present myself and my thoughts and my whatever I have uh, put uh, like long journey or 20 years, uh, especially with the science uh, I deal with, which is about psychology, human behavior, mindset, emotion, everything. And I'm also into um, you know, a, a business of uh, stars, you know, the planets and uh, and that also has helped me to uh, to uh, people and understand help them understand more actually about themselves, which is the most difficult, and complicated thing to do, which is we call it human psychology. So today, uh, uh, first, I would like to welcome you all. And um, uh, you know, whenever whenever I talk to students, I always feel happy because uh, it always brings my memories back. So whenever I, I interact with the students, you know, I, I always feel good because it takes me back to my memory lens. And uh, I believe still now, you know, my, my, my kids are also of your age. Um, my son is in college. In fact, um, uh, he's into NMIMS doing um, graduation in BBA in branding and advertising. He's in second year now. So I, I, I know, you know, you guys, what, what you are up to, what is going on, but, but uh, I would definitely start with, with my age, you know, when, when we used to be of your age and uh, that was a different era altogether. We had no mobile phones. We had, uh, you, you'll be you know, shocked because you can't imagine a life without a mobile phone. So there's no mobile phone and uh, no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no Twitter, nothing, no Instagram, no TikTok, nothing. But I must tell you, it was an amazing era. Amazing. The first thing, the first reason for that is we had a lot of time at hand, you know, because there's no technology where you, you are engrossed. Now we are all addicted to it. So earlier we had a lot of um, time and a uh, lot of ways to interact with people. And mostly it was one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, um, cycling, walking, jogging, uh, talking, whatever, you know, it was, it was a two-way communication earlier. You know, you talk, you show your gesture, you, you see the face of a person, you understand emotion, you feel energies of a person, how it is. It was a different different mindset. Now, uh, you know, and in that journey, I think uh, the most important uh, thing at that time was uh, we were ambitious, but we were not desperate. The reason being because uh, there were limited resources, one. And uh, secondly, uh, we had uh, no one to compare. Now, what, what I have observed in, in this situation, in this era, if I'm just comparing, uh, people, people have become very, very ambitious. The reason being because you see everything on, on your hand, everything, you know, who is doing what, who is timeling where, who is wearing what, you know, they, they show off, I can say yes, uh, in a way, sometime, not everyone, but yeah. So when, when you start comparing, then it definitely takes a toll on you and then you feel stressed out because every person is a, is a different person. And I must tell you, you can't choose anything in this life. The day you were born, you had no idea where you are, which city you are born, you know, which family, you can't choose your parents at least. So what you can choose is nothing actually. This is not in your hand. And that is what is some connect from whatever, you know, they say is past birth or whatever you call it, the deeds in the past. In Sanskrit, it is known as prarab. So that means that is a beginning which is not under your control. And then when you are born in a particular city or environment, like I assume that you, you all live in Mumbai because you are studying here. So, so it is a different world altogether. So different family, different culture, different kind of languages, different kind of liking or disliking. But now you are all together confined into, into one college and um, exchanging your ideas, exchanging your belief. But even before that, because of the technology, you, you are seeing what others are doing. So one request I would definitely like to, uh, you know, uh, make is please do not compare your journey with anyone. Everyone has their own path and you have no idea what the person is undergoing, what the struggle their parents are having in their life, you know, or what they had actually. So everyone is in a different state. I always say, you know, like if, if you compare the situation of pandemic, it is a global recession, it is a global situation. There's no cure till now. There's no vaccine out. And we, we are in a very difficult situation. And for most of us who are alive, this is the first ever time that we are in this kind of confined environment and nothing is moving ahead. Nothing. So that means we have nothing to do first time because we are a social animal. Man is known as a social animal. We need to interact. We need to go out. We need to mingle. We need to travel. But nothing is happening. It's all locked. 
is locked down actually so we are feeling down so i think this is a time you need to introspect you need to understand who you are who you really are very very important because uh, you know as uh, uh, the title says for today the balancing act between mind and heart to is sari zindagi ki jo ladai hai wo dil aur dimag ki hai nothing else in the entire journey you know you must be all in uh, i think um, uh, uh, late teens or maybe um, um, in in your early 20s uh, 19 20 21 maximum right so you this is a very crucial age of your life or i can even when you use one more word it is a very dicey age so either you make it or you break it so this is the time if you channelize it in the right direction you will get more success now if i am talking about success success means what whenever you you uh, you hear this word whenever you think about success you think about bmws or ferraris you know ferraris mumbai you can't drive anyways but at least you know audi or mercedes or whatever you know so you you feel like oh i would be driving that car i will living that house you know I, yeah i am done with my 2 bhk i need to go for 3 bhk or maybe something near the beach so everyone has a different kind of um, aspirations in life there's nothing wrong in it i will not say don't dream i am a dreamer too but in that dream you should also never miss the moment the situation you are in and all my journey you know is is been a very very long long journey already you know i have uh, i i check at least 15 to 20 lives every day their uh, lives of those people who come to me who who interact with me uh, share their situation where they are from there they, where they started where they have come where they want to go or or they are in situation so i know what makes it or what makes a person successful and what goes against them so first success is a relative term it is all in your mind you know what exactly the success you are looking at if it is something which is materialistic i would suggest you to 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 just uh, re uh, you know rewrite it rewrite your aspiration very very important because whenever i you know as you must be aware i'm i'm into motivation i'm i'm into life coaching but i'm also into astrology and when people ask me about their luck i always ask them what do you want 99% people people tell their materialistic desire which is not correct and whenever i tell them oh i think last two years were not good for you or um, then they will say no it was brilliant i got promoted you know i bought a new car and they say no according to me it was not good then he said yeah you know i had a tip with my wife and uh, you know we are in in lot of situation and this and that so what i'm saying is why i'm giving you this example whenever you talk about good or bad you compare it with your materialistic things tangible things which is not right so most of us we we what we do is we put all our energy into materialistic desire 90% actually it should be 25 to 30% only because there are many aspects of life aur bhi gham hai zamane mein and what is that your harmony your happiness your relationship with your parents with your siblings with your grandparents with your teachers what kind of friends you have how happy you are how many hobbies do you do you love to do you know are you introvert are you aggressive are you emotional are you sensitive are you depressing what kind of person you are try to understand discover yourself the most important thing actually because human psychology is the most complicated thing most complicated the thing is everyone who is born with particular set of programming of the mind everyone is different i'm talking about uh, astronomically maybe you know the planet which controls you at one particular time so that makes you and the person feel no i am okay i am right this is the way i am but i have seen the the you know the person who is totally weird may may feel he is normal because he he has not evaluated himself he feel according to him is perfect which is not right and no one is perfect anyways you need to bring and my favorite statement i must tell you which i was doing a show on z news uh, for 9 years uh, you know that was the time few of um, you must have born at that time 2005 you know Yeah, I started my journey with the television first time in my life, and uh, that show went on for nine years. It became the longest running show ever. I got my name into Limca Book of Records by the grace of God, and um, I completed around three thousand episodes. Every day I was on television talking like this uh, for half an hour every day. 
and my show used to go to more than 150 countries because he has a great network and people used to uh, know me more than they know me in india you know where i used to travel at the airport or the malls or wherever in whichever country i got a lot of recognition because that was the time i was one of the early astrologers in india who came on television and people they thought that i'm an anchor because i was nothing talking about astrology the traditional way i was talking about happiness i was talking about life i was talking about their relationship the harmony no one no 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 astrologer was talking that language so i i thought you know why not give a different aspect to it why not to know the real psychology of it to live a happy life because according to me there there are many ways you know uh, which i always say him uh, your dimag and your dil so your mind which is your culprit your intellect which will always push you or or pull you in the direction which is more in materialism your your heart will say where is your happiness where is your love you know where is your passion so you need to maintain a balance uh, you know i am i am a poet also i don't know if many of you understand uh, poetry you know which we call it shayari and over the period of time uh, i become more a poet than a astrologer so i i, I will uh, tell you one uh, one you know i will begin with ki socha ye ki banau teri tasveer i said na between dil and dimag to dil ne kya socha ki socha ye ki banau teri tasveer par nakab chehre se hata na saka aur ye bhi socha ki banau apni takdeer पर हाथों की लकीरों को मिटा ना सकता दैट मींस देयर देयर आर फ्यू थिंग्स इन योर लाइफ व्हिच यू कैन नॉट चेंज दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर डिसिजन बट माय फेवरेट स्टेटमेंट इज या व्हिच आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो माय व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग टेलीविजन आई यूज्ड टू से एवरीडे ऑलमोस्ट एवरीडे डेस्टिनी इज फिक्स नो वन कैन चेंज बट अ चेंज इज चेंज व्हेन यू चेंज सो द मोमेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नीड टू चेंज देन ओनली यू विल चेंज बिकॉज़ दे से इफ यू डोंट चेंज योर पाथ देन यू विल कीप गोइंग वेयर यू आर गोइंग maybe it is a wrong journey you don't know and that is the reason they say direction is important than speed at least you should know where you are heading whether what you have decided is a right or no who will tell you that your parents they are done because they know you will never change and your teachers you never listen then who is the person so today take it as a opportunity take it as as a purpose that i am talking to you don't know me i, I have never met you and maybe this is the first and the last time maybe we may never meet but today if you just listen to me just take one input somebody is talking to you who who uh, we have never interacted earlier in this life if you today if you realize few things what i am you know, because i am your well wisher i am talking i am putting my heart and soul into it without uh, even i don't plan anything i must tell you one more unprofitable thing i don't plan anything i just talk like this from my heart and i believe that you know if if it will connect with you today bring that change which your parents will never tell you or even if they keep on telling you you will never listen to them because i know my kids are of your age i already told you then please it will change your life i promise you that so first realize who you are the most difficult thing in life because i am i know everything please don't teach me that is what we feel because there are many sides of people as i've said few can be very emotional they make it hurt like this few can be very aggressive they react like this few might be too introvert they will never reveal if they are feeling bad or or feeling uh, negative whatever it is and there are uh, few people you know who 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 may may become too adamant to to even bring any change in them then nothing will change ab kya intezar kare sitaron ke badalne ka you go to a stroller ask about your future ki mera waqt kab badlega this is what people ask so i'll tell you ki ab kya intezar kare sitaron ke badalne ka jab tum nahi badle to takdeer kya badle so you need to bring that change that is the most important thing so your heart will keep on saying please listen to me your mind will say don't follow what i am saying because the planet which rules intellect is mercury and mercury is always right mercury knows everything this is the misconception which mercury has because there is another planet which says which is jupiter the planet of wisdom so wisdom come with age or wisdom come with time so either you are retired and then you realize oh i have done a lot of um, Uh, you know <clears throat> blunders in my life and now how i can undo that it is too late actually or you become spiritual if you have if spiritual again being spiritual there doesn't means you 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 just uh, you know go go to some pilgrimage being spiritual is having that connect first within you go inside they say in this lockdown if you can cannot go outside at least go inside it is a beautiful thought and people who realize i know you are too young to understand it because i i meet keep on meeting people there are a lot of parents who come to me with with teen uh, the age uh, teenage uh, children or maybe uh, children of your age and i know they are very adamant because they are not open to it they are not open to it which is not right and most of the time when i ask them do you believe in god 
and you know what what they say most of them i'm saying nine out of 10 they will say no and that really is something you have to realize because you know i'm not here to preach about any religion for me i i am I, did i say even one time about religion no i'm only saying about one word which is above religion and that is spirituality because following religion without spirituality is just a ritual because if you're not connected if you're not connected if you're not having belief the love they say don't be god fearing god be god loving so have that because in management most of you might be going for management studies later on you know the what is the biggest statement in management it says a good manager is one who let others do all the job delegation of power you need to let go you need to give task to others and in the management of life it says give your best and leave him the rest so if there is no him in your life if you feel oh i am responsible for everything what i have done is my hard work it is my thing and even if the things are not going your you, you you your way you will feel oh because it is it is because of me then you will blame yourself then again you will put all the stress on you and then you will again become vulnerable so this is what i have observed this is what i am seeing that uh, people you know they are not good listeners there is a reason we have two years if we could have done with one why god has two years listen more even steve job said stay hungry hungry means what desire to do more and more i said yeah you should have desires and stay foolish that don't feel that you are too intelligent that you know all that's not right so listen more so that is something which i will um, uh, definitely like you to understand and, and follow it so dreams are very very important and dreams lead to your ambitions and ambitions lead to your desires but you need to keep rechecking that list replan that list or maybe reevaluating also sometimes you need to change the number this is the priority it, it might be the last one you don't know so keep on thinking on that line and have a good year which i just said third thing is you know when you grow when uh, grow in the sense you yeah you must be feeling you are already grown up but whenever uh, whenever you will grow up they, as i say few are wise and most are otherwise then you should also think about uh, uh, you know then you you will come across to the reality i had this ambition to do this but now i think i am in a situation and i know i can't there are people who wish to go outside india and study abroad you know you see a lot of uh, situation has changed and now parents may not be willing to send them even even for another two years at least so a lot of things have changed for them so is it a broken dream for them i will say no first there is always a reason for everything there is no coincidence i have a complete faith in that there is no con- me talking to you you listening to me there there were many others who had registered they have not come only few uh, not few is a big number but what i'm saying is those who have come they were destined to to be here so everything has a reason Uh, in hindi or in urdu there is a word called ittefaq 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 has two meanings one is coincidence and another meaning is of ittefaq is you don't agree if you don't agree is again ittefaq so i wrote a uh, poetry on this ki tumse milna bhi ittefaq tha like today i am meeting you tumse milna bhi ittefaq tha aur tumse bichhadna bhi ittefaq hai ab tumhe ittefaq nahi to ye bhi ittefaq hai so what i am saying is there's always there's no coincidence so so just have that so when you understand the reality of your life maybe you 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 wanted to do something someone is is driving a car coming to college you are still taking a bus or maybe uh, maybe a train so please do not compare as i've already said because everyone has a different journey and i've seen you know i i can give you on writing people who may be flying today they may not be doing great tomorrow everyone has a journey and i've seen people going from here to there and from there to here you know i always wish good good for people i always motivate everyone but that is a hard fact of life you know there was in a movie even govinda had this um, uh, one dialogue he said uh, ki i met him one in, in the flight once in the flight and i i said about it i was i was reading uh, reading his horoscope in the flight and i said please can you say it once and he said it like this ki kaise 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 ho gaye aur kaise 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 ho gaye that we no matter who the person is if time is good you you grow and if time is bad so whatever goes up has to come down so what i'm saying is please never ever share your journey compare your journey with with anyone now another important aspect you know because i'm talking about changing your heart and 
fine tuning your mind and that is a that will create a balance which i am supposed to talk on so someone has just mentioned what is the best way to come above all these negative feeling jealousy comparison depression is meditation good tool or something else um, let me first clap it for you amira arora it's a beautiful statement and it is not a question actually you gave the answer in that meditation is the key and i will talk about it because that's the only thing which can bring change in you and i know you are too young to to feel uh, you know if meditation has anything to do with your life and it will bring any change meditation is only meant for old people who have nothing to do with they are all diet no i promise you one thing if you start doing meditation of any kind from today from this evening maybe before going to bed or even lying down you know meditation uh, they have their rules actually for brahmins or people who who are you know at a different level but for normal people like us we can do meditation any time in the flight in the cab you are never in your school in your class uh, teachers may not understand that they may feel that you you are taking a nap so that may go against you so don't meditate there but at least any other place you can meditate close your eyes and just look for a light here this is the third eye we call it a spiritual eye just white divine light white divine light coming to the source the form of god you believe in is coming between your right toes this is a very simple technique but it will change your life it you may not be able to see it maybe 10 days maybe 20 days maybe one hour uh, one month but after that you will start feeling good because your mind is already programmed and your mind is is resisting because you are too intelligent you are resisting it that why you are wasting your time it never works is all for old people so if if you have that faith start with the faith then only it will it will change and i promise you whoever is listening to me if you follow it religiously i'm saying religiously but it is a spiritual activity because there is no religion in it just visualize that white light the form of god you believe in that makes it easy actually and and just don't force it let it come i mean i said 15 days maybe a, a month you may not see anything but it will work on your cell you know the cell level the programming will start changing and slowly you will you will change and you will become a different people people will start giving you compliment you have changed oh my god you are looking like a different person your aura your energies your positivity it will become so powerful that there will be no road blocks no negativity no stress no anxiety and you will become very intuitive any thought in your mind whatever you will not read any chapter you want to skip for the exam don't you know i'm just just a way to say it it will never come there it should ideally it should not come if your time is bad then it is a different thing but ideally what i'm saying is you become so intuitive that things come to you easily and you become a different person your glow on your face you can see the glow on your face you see people without even doing makeup in spite of whatever age they are in they are glowing that glow comes from within it is not about makeup it is not about uh, using some kind of uh, cosmetics no never it comes from within and that will take care of all your emotional imbalance which i was about, about to talk about all your emotional imbalance and you will become a different person and someone has just asked i sandeep sir how are you how to overcome overthinking and taking a decision a lot of people ask this to me yes it is a beautiful uh, thought actually part and uh, uh, this is something which is a great culprit it is all here ki soch mein baithe hain jhukaye hue sar hum is soch mein baithe hain jhukaye hue sar hum कि उठेंगे तेरी महफिल से तो जाएंगे किधर हम तो दीज आर द पीपल हु कीप ऑन थिंकिंग एंड दे मेड देयर लाइफ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज़ एनीवन आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर हियर हु आर इनटू फाइनेंस एनीवन हु आर हु आर इनटू लॉ फाइनेंस मार्केटिंग सेल्स बैंकिंग मीडिया कम्युनिकेशन राइटिंग लॉ आईटी एनीथिंग टू डू विद कम्युनिकेशन एंड टेक्निकली स्पीकिंग हु हु आर रूल्ड बाय मर्क्युरी their eyebrows are like this their forehead is, is broad they you can just see the face and understand you know this person is ruled by which planet is quite easy actually and uh, they are the one who earn great money in this life they are the one who are who are great in networking they have hundreds and thousands of connections and they are the one who are super intelligent but they are the one who are the brand ambassadors in making their life complicated because these are the same people who keep on thinking like parth had just asked me the very valid question who keep on thinking their mind is never at rest and they are keep on evaluating 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 and that makes life very difficult they cannot ignore anything they become like perfectionists they want to do things in a very very particular manner i want to do this i want to do that i i i want to keep things like this who has touched my mobile who came in my room who does that so for small little thing they become very very difficult people difficult um, son or daughter and later on difficult boyfriend girlfriend 
and then difficult wife and husband then difficult mother and father or maybe bosses or maybe colleagues or maybe whoever so they make their life complete and I always tell them why don't you write a book and i promise you it will become the best seller write a book on how to make your life complicated best seller no one can write better than you because you have mastered that so what i'm saying is uh, the question which path has asked the habit of thinking too much why are you thinking if the destination if the destiny of life is already distant i said destiny is fixed so if already distant then what you are thinking and one more side to it if everything is distant that doesn't mean we don't do anything destiny says 70% is fixed which i said you can't choose your parent or your city or environment and whatever it is a part and parcel of some journey which is defined somewhere distant somewhere but 30% is in your in your hand the free will how you are utilizing your free will with your balance approach the balance is needed which is not there anymore i know you guys that's my job so you need to change and that is something which will change your life so par thank you so much uh, for this uh, beautiful question and uh, there's a very long one actually here sir there was one question before part sir so sorry there's one more question that was before part sir so if you could Uh, before part uh, let me read uh, oh yeah anju kapoor a question from my from me while i agree this is the best time to go internally and balance your head and heart it, it is astrologically also a bad time as most people are facing the aftermath of covid when will the planet change for better <laughs> outcomes yeah there is a very sensitive question actually see there are few things which are above everything uh, thank you so much anju ji for your question and uh, like a lot of people you know they they blame they are blaming astrologers there are a lot of memes coming up there are a lot of jokes uh, you know circling around you know that astrologers uh, they they haven't predicted it see i must tell you one thing uh, same goes with doctor will doctor think about some uh, some kind of infection every day coming some new infection coming in, in in this world or pandemic happening and they will have better business in in life no same goes with astrologers they will never go outside the balcony and see up there and that there some star will change and there will be some war or some kind of uh, you know this this kind of situation will come no we are all human beings and we look forward we talk about happiness we talk about positivity we plan our life uh, you know and make it better this is the purpose which we have we never plan our accidents we never plan or think about something which is negative com- coming to someone you know this is a reality of life we are born and we will die some day everyone but do we ever talk about death no so that means we have a optimistic side that is a great illusion we live in and that is the best illusion for humanity to to move keep moving no matter what you know there there was a uh, flight uh, which got crashed last month i think few days actually few weeks back in pakistan and there were only two survivors so look look about them you know they they survived a, a plane crash so that is a great destiny this is what we call destiny so what what she is asking is what about this so according to me astrologically speaking till september when there was the first day on of this uh, lockdown when uh, our prime minister narendra modi came on television he said you know we need to be like this i think it was on 24th of march i made a video on the same day you can go to my youtube or my instagram uh, with the name of sandeep kochar s u n is sun and d w e p is deep why because sun is a planet or sun gives light during day time and deep is is something which gives you light in the dark and that is what my job is to show light whatever time it is so what i'm saying is if you follow me on instagram or go to youtube you will see you will you will see my video of the same day and i said you guys it is not about one week or three weeks this matter is going to take a very long time and the intention was never to put fear in anyone's mind the intention was to to make you prepared for it because astrologically the situation may continue till september at least because there is no vaccine once vaccine will be out it will be all tried and tested then we can take it as as a normal flu but till that time you know you are fighting against something which you even cannot see so how you can win the only way is maintain all the precautions let it be social distancing like we are talking you know i love to talk in front of the audience i'm missing it big time but i'm just visualizing in my mind mind that you know you guys are all in front of me and i i'm just addressing to 500 people this is what i'm trying to do it's just in your mind and you i'm feeling good about it trust me so it's just acceptance so what i'm saying is it is a pandemic no country has come up with any drug it is still there is hit and trial going on but we need to live with it so you have to wear mask 
you have to keep sanitizing your hands and maintaining that distance which is very very important i think we have to be habitual to it and it will take a while at least this year is gone i don't think uh, everything will be normal uh, this year though september onward things might become better but knowing uh, you know the most populated cities in in india like delhi or mumbai you know it is not going to be easy and especially monsoon are approaching day after then it is going to be more difficult to please uh, you have to be extra cautious i know it is very very frustrating to be confined in home but you know uh, nothing is above your health or your life so have that patience uh, this too shall pass nothing is permanent in life and this this uh, this thing will also change i hope i have answered that anjuti that was a very very sensitive question my mother ma uh, made my brother uh, sorry uh, my mother made my brother and i start practicing sudarshan kriyas okay on a daily basis recently i agree with you as well it is surely that the tool we all need to implement in our life as students especially i mean i am confident that very soon those feelings of anxiety comparison and depression will fade away uh, so everyone stand up and give a big round of applause to amira arora amazing amira i think you are blessed to to have a mother like 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 her you know who has inculcated this thought in this age which is a very dicey age mom this is not me please you you continue with your thing i am not interested in it i am good with it so you you resist and so if your brother is doing it i i hope you are also doing that I, and the way you are you are feeling good and and whatever anxiety and and comparison and and anxiety you have written i am sure that is the only way to overcome it otherwise we we are different and we are difficult actually is destiny a natural concept or human created it is shriram sir yes mr shriram i was expecting something like this from you it is not a easy question to answer but i think it is it is a natural concept because you cannot choose anything in this life you know so that includes your city your country your religion it is all induced you know like the other part you said uh, human created so human created is from birth but before birth it is natural created from the time of conception because that is not in your hand so the journey begins from there so yes sir it is natural but that, but after that what you do with it it is in your hand there are few people who become really hard liners and they they tend to do something and they, they try to misuse a lot of things which i am not supposed to discuss here but what i am saying is follow the righteous path keep doing your good deeds keep helping people have the sense of compassion keep thanking god for whatever we have and i must even quote that that in us the number one festival they celebrate is thanksgiving and unfortunately in india we miss out with that and whenever we go to our religious places we always want more god please i am asking you again and again please let this thing happen to me we never thank god for what we already have so i think we need to change that we need to have that that what in hindi they say shukrana you know you need to thank god for everything for every breath you take thank you so much uh, shriram ji it was a difficult question and uh, and you are a professor so it is <laughs> it is okay i'm getting used to it now so 70% 30% rule sir amazing answer thank you thank you bhal for that and amrita ji yeah you're welcome and one of the best mentors one can have uh, oh, you are writing for me I, i think i'm not supposed to read that always motivating one of the best modern astrologer of a modern world wisdom have taken birth in form of mr sandeep kuch need to sign off sir i have a webinar to take thank you so much i always good to listen thank you par for your kind words thank you so much so yeah let's let's move 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 now so now another important aspect is relationship and in relationship again it is it is a matter of mind and heart dil aur dimag dimag kya keh raha hai you know uh, <clears throat> let's have fun let's make more friends let's go out i know it not is not happening anymore here but otherwise you know in in normal days because because of lockdown we are all confined but otherwise so you we make make lot of excuses and we go out and we mingle with our friends ignoring our parents so i would suggest you to please maintain a balance because they are the one who have brought you in this world and you have lot of responsibility to towards them because their only goal you know when you will become parent then you will realize that your only ambition in this life once you are born is to give best to you and to make your life better to make you a person of value this is what every parent mother or father every parent will, will have only one agenda in life to give best to their children so i think you also should have that kind of responsibility toward them and show your gesture it's not like yeah i'm okay with my dad it is okay is oldy is old guy he doesn't understand you know it is a different world we are in it is a generation gap this you might be thinking which is not right generation gap you are talking about you are not talking that he is 30 years ahead than you always he will be 
maybe okay at least 25 so you need to you need to follow you know when we call guru guru kripa the first guru becomes your father actually your mother so if you don't listen to them then you are done then you will keep doing what you are doing without realizing you know experience is the name people give their to their mistakes so keep doing your your those mistakes and keep sulking or coming back to square one again and again wasting your precious years in this life or the person who has done all those mistakes mistakes which you are going to do is your father which will tell you not to do this so please listen to your parents please and anyone who have their parents you know living with them they are blessed so please understand that and you know coming back to uh, the other side of relationship the girlfriend and the boyfriend and the age you are in it is quite a uh, normal regular thing but i must su uh, suggest you hear something very important is not what you like is good for you i will repeat it is not what you like is good for you you know as i've just said it is all about your destiny so if something is already written pre written then you can't change that you know uh, there was a, a movie you know rab ne bana di jodi and they they say marriages are made in heaven but they are broken on earth any kind of relationship marriage means any kind of alliance so what i'm saying is you have to focus keep focusing in your studies because these are your informative years you can have friends i am not saying one should not have i know you will you will never follow me again but what i'm saying is you should have a meaningful friendship a friend which motivates you towards your journey who is not um, becoming your weakness a friend who which, who can become your strength you can discuss you can share who can push you to your limits to do, do the best in your studies because this era this time this moment will never ever come back so my suggestion to you is choose your friends wisely they say a man is known by the company he keeps even is valid for women nobody no one talks about women but it is true so what i'm saying is choose your friend wisely so find those friends boyfriend girlfriend whoever who can become the source of your inspiration the push the balance the force behind you because there are things which you cannot share with your parents but you can talk to your friends so if you are good friends around then you are lucky so if you want to be lucky have that kind of friendship in your mind and take initiative you know because without taking initiative nothing works and uh, this is a poetry which i have not written but is very close to my heart and i will uh, tell you here it is ki manzil to mil hi jayegi bhatakte hi sahi manzil is your dream your destination so manzil to mil hi jayegi bhatakte hi sahi aur gumrah to wo hain jo ghar se nikle hi so initiative plays a very very important role your effort plays a very important role if if i am talking about destiny that doesn't mean that your hard work hard work that is a first statement even in in story they say in hindi it says karm pradhan hai karm pradhan hai pradhan means that is of maximum value that your deeds can influence your time if it is a bad time you are putting your 100% into it you will definitely win in this situation even everything is against you so what i am saying is work hard towards it तो मंजिल तो मिली जाएगी भटकते ही सही गुमराह तो वो हैं जो घर से निकले ही नहीं तो इफ यू आर नॉट टेकिंग इनिशिएटिव अभी तो घर से निकलना अलाउड नहीं है प्लीज डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली और लिटरली यू नो इट इज नॉट अलाउड बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉकडाउन बट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज टेक इनिशिएटिव इन योर लाइफ व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ द अदर पार्ट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक इट इज वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू माय हार्ट इज द फीलिंग ऑफ कंटेंटमेंट बिकॉज नो वन इज कंटेंट नो वन you know i i keep on meeting people traveling to different countries i go to london every four months before this lockdown and, and many countries actually and um, i've seen and uh, there are a lot of billionaires you know who are my client industrious even uh, uh, bollywood stars or cricketers whoever anywhere who have been there done that who have all the fame who have all the money and i've seen the more money a person has the more miserable their life is you know how funny it, it is that this is what we want more money right we need to become big we need to do something very very big in life big what is big so that means you are talking only about your bank balance only about the car you drive or the house you live in that is not becoming big so this is what i started with with, with the journey also ki what is your ambition so what i'm saying is maintain some kind of satisfaction if you are not satisfied you know i was talking about uh, thanksgiving count your blessings you know the festival we celebrate in we means they celebrate in in us so count your blessings very very important if you compare your life with people around you will feel how lucky you are which we never do 
be compared from someone who is who is who is in a better state so that is something you need to reach so this is important it is it is a reality check very important and i think this this lockdown has given this this kind of uh, created this kind of situation when we can do that we can do that because um, um hato ki lakiro ko badalte dekha you know you say destiny is fixed i have written something on that ki hato ki lakiro ko badalte dekha and i must tell you that when you see your hand you know what kind of lines you have on the on your palm it keep on changing with your time it keeps on changing with your mind because the lines on your hand is nothing but the state of mind you are in and it 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 definitely reflects on your hand when i see a hand in in 10 seconds i tell a person about their spiritual side about their state of mind about their unhappiness or happiness it shows clearly on the face on the hand the lines keep on changing it shows how many lines you have and what what they are so i wrote a poetry on that hato ki lakeeron ko badalte dekha har roz sitaron ko nikalte dekha bewajah hi rishton ko bigadte dekha khwabon ko haqeeqat se ladte dekha that means spoiling our relation with the passage of time and the conflict between your dreams and your reality and that is what we are here for so it is not what you want is happening all the time and i always say that it is not what you want should happen whatever is good for you should happen and always pray god to that god if this is good for me please help me to achieve that if it is good for you if you want something you don't know it is not good for you so the conflict between reality and your desire sometime it can be one sometime it can be poles apart but there could be a conflict also then you have to again reevaluate it is what you want is not happening that means it is not meant for you so change that approach but i i also believe in uh, initiative i also believe in hard work i also believe in planning i also believe in implementing i also believe in taking it forward because you have to take initiative अदरवाइज विल नेवर वर्क क्योंकि रास्ता किधर जाता है मुझे नहीं है खबर ये रास्ता किधर जाता है मुझे नहीं है खबर पर ये मुझे पता है मेरी मंजिल है किधर तो इफ यू हैव दैट मंजिल द डिजायर टू अचीव इन दिस लाइफ हियर स्ट्रांगली इंबाइब्ड समवेयर सबकॉन्शियसली देन यू विल फाइंड अ वे आउट इवन इफ यू डोंट नो द वे सो दिस इज समथिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सो आई थिंक यू कैन यू नो जस्ट remember this poetry of mine it is a great motivating poetry which i created long time back but uh, it really helps so that is something which is very important so emotional imbalance uh, is something which you need to understand i was talking about contentment so so accept whatever is there in your life and just keep on thinking about something better so thoda hai thode ki zarurat hai content with little yet looking for more so this is a balance you need to pray so what do you have your heart should feel good about it what do you want your mind should work on it that is something you have to understand and this will help you to reach your goal and i know everyone everyone has a potential to make it big you know i am from a very small town in in up it is called chajan you should ride my bicycle even going to a college i was talking about bmw mercedes and audi here you know someone is coming to college in driving that and i am telling you that i used to ride a bicycle but but even in at that moment i was thinking about doing something significant in life money was never a priority not even in the top 3 you know even now now money is never a priority for me for me happiness is is important harmony is important relationships are important connect is important spiritual spiritual connect actually which makes you happy anyways whatever situation you are in and people who have loads of money they may be miserable so that means one thing is assured keep this in mind money has nothing to do with your happiness i am not saying don't desire for money money is very important but don't make it only agenda which can spoil or which can take it all on other things which are equally or more important than those numbers so please remember that so so while riding those that that bicycle uh, even at that time when and 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 i'm from a town where there is no not even a newspaper they print there you know forget about television or any kind of radio but still i had this dream to do something significant uh, no one in from my city you know it is a very historic place uh, you know uh, the legends uh, like uh, ram prasad bismil ashfaqullah khan thakur roshan singh i don't know if you are if you are good with history uh, they were involved in kakori kand you know when they were fighting against uh, britishers uh, they are all from my my town 
So it's a very historic place. Asia's largest clothing factory, ordnance clothing factory, which which makes a uniform and flags and everything for army, navy, and air force. Everything you know is a huge one. So I'm I'm very well connected. I used to live in in Cantonment area. You know, next to the Brigadier's uh, house, we have a big bungalow of 11 acres. It's an amazing uh, journey. You know, at a small town, but amazing upbringing. Because all my friends were from army culture, army army background, very dis disciplined and having that thing in them. So it is it is it is how you grow up. It is not about the place, it's not about the city, but the dream. So riding a bicycle and thinking about doing something significant and, you know, getting my name into Limca Book of Records. So from there to London, uh, BBC Live, I've done tries, it took interview. So, and, and even in US, whatever radio, television, wherever, whichever city, whichever country, it is not what I have planned. I'm unprofessionally, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a pathetic planner. I don't plan things, but I'm a very, very optimistic person. I always I'm in a happy space. I always think good. It's not like I'm thinking about dreaming when Donald Trump and, and invite me, uh, you know, in, in, in his White House. I never think like this. It has to be practical. Though I predicted for Donald Trump and every world, everyone was against me. Then, you know, it was a blunder that he will win. I, I predicted. I, I think I was the only one in Indian uh, astrology who predicted about his winning uh, his uh, US elections. So what I'm saying is dreams has to be there. And I believe in one statement before I forget. I believe in power of visualization. Power of visualization. What do you visualize? You know, there is a dialogue of Shahrukh Khan. Kisi bhi cheez ko chiddat se chaho, to puri kaina tumhe usale milane me lag jati. Kisi bhi cheez ko chiddat se chaho, to puri kaina tumhe usse milane me lag jati. That was in Sano Rita ko kaha tha ki, Simran ko kaha tha, I don't remember that. But uh, but this amazing dialogue is actually thought of alchemist. That what you desire, you create it. I have a complete faith in it. Whatever I have become till now and whatever I'll become in future, I will give a lot of credit. Though I'm into astrology, I was talking about destiny and luck, but I will give a lot of credit to this one statement which I follow from the beginning before even Rhonda Bain came out with a book called The Secrets in 2008. I'm talking about 90s. I believe in one statement. You become what you think. You become what you think. Imbibe this statement in your mind. From today, make it your screen saver, saver right somewhere, wherever it should, it should be a reminder every day. You become what you think. I, and I promise you, you see how it will bring a change in you because I have a complete faith in it. Whatever I have, you know, a person who, who, who doesn't believe in planning, a person who, who I, I don't manipulate. I'm always a, a truthful person. I do. I speak from here. I, I, I don't practice. I don't make a script and then talk. Never, ever, you know, in television days, never, ever in my life. I, I'm bad actually in that. So I, I come up with my, my thought, which is coming from somewhere, but I, I love to do it this way because if you talk like this, you can connect. This is what I believe. So I never, I ever, you know, you can't do this. Of course, you have to understand the concept in your exam. I'm saying students, actually, I'm talking to student, students. I forgot that you have to go through that. Then, then you can write in your own word. That is all right. But understand the concept. I have understood the concept of life. You should also understood the concept of what you are studying, which will help you in a bigger way. That is very, very important. So power of visualization, the law of attraction will help you to reach the goal you look for. Amazing. So <clears throat> you need to just change a few things and uh, then we will, I will start reading those messages because uh, we are very close to be, uh, to be completing one hour now. And that is to change your behavior. Because I have seen, you know, you so-called new generation kids, they are very, very intelligent, but less wise. And there's a big difference between being intelligent and wise. Intellect can give you, you can study a lot of things. You can memorize a lot of things. You can plan amazing networking, whatever is all Mercury and is all intellect. But wisdom is about understanding. Wisdom is about bigger picture. Big, uh, uh, wisdom is about vision. Sorry, vision, vision, and uh, wisdom is about um, uh, you know looking beyond, which I was talking about bigger picture in life. So you need to understand that you need to grow up now and look beyond. I always say, uh, you know, the bigger picture is look your life from a different perspective. You know, in in photography, there is an angle called bird's eye view. So start looking your life from there. If you keep on complaining about the surroundings, about this, about that, then you will be, you will keep on sulking throughout your life. Look at a bigger picture from where you have come, where you are and where you are going. Look the positive side of everything that will change your life. Trust me on that. Mana ki mushkil hai zara si ye zindagi. 
مانا کی مشکل ہے ذرا سی یہ زندگی پر زندگی ذرا سی ہے یہ بھی تو مشکل ہے از اونلی ون لائف اے اسمال لائف آف سم یو نو ڈیفینیٹ نمبر یو نو 70 80 90 میبی وٹ ایور بٹ اٹ از لمیٹڈ سو یو نیڈ ٹو لیو یور لائف ان دا رائٹ مینر ڈونٹ کمپلیکیٹ اٹ اینڈ دس از وٹ آئی ایم ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ یور ایموشنل امبیلنسز بینگ اڈامنٹ بینگ اگریسو بینگ ڈپریسو بوتھ ایوری تھنگ از بیڈ you need to be a happy zone you need to be a happy space you need to be in a calmer state with lot of acceptance in life because the acceptance is zero tolerance is zero dad you don't know about it mom don't talk to me like that you have ego so that create lot of turbulence within you and around you so parent will feel okay he's like that she's like that they will be okay with it still they will keep doing their best to to raise you and make you independent and then your journey begins from there but how beautiful you become hum human i'm saying being human so are you the one who is in a happy space or are you the adamant one who want to do things no matter what you don't know your your father your dad is in a situation in his office but you are still demanding again and again to buy another car or maybe you want to go overseas where he need to take a bank loan and then send you abroad. please don't do that If you are distant, there will be a way out. I always tell them, I always tell my parents, you know, they come to me, they say, you know, we never thought that we will be able to uh, afford our kids to, to go outside India and study. I, then I, I tell them, it is the luck of your child. He or she was distant to go there. So maybe if you are distant, there will be some way out. But if you force it, if you sulk, if you complain, uh, complain and compare, then you will be in situation. Then you will spoil your relation. Then your, your parent will be hurt that you don't understand their side of story. So what I'm saying is, you should have good dreams. I believe in that. You should have desire. You should also make life good, very good. I'm with you on that. But maintain a balance. That mind can be a culprit. Your heart may give you the right suggestion all the time. But the heart has to be a happy heart. That is a condition of life. It is not about dil. Jo dil kehta hai, wo hamesha zahi ho. Ye zaruri nahi hai. Kyunki dil might get influenced by other factors also. My girlfriend... she is going to uk and study there i also want to go there or my boyfriend going to america i want to go there this is dil this is not dimag that means you are not doing right so if you want your heart your dil to become positive optimistic and taking right decision you need to follow the path of spirituality so your prayers of you know whatever family you can choose your religion you know, that is that is something which which you you will get when wherever you are born and but the faith in god of any kind the meditation i was talking about will help you to understand the situation and not only that i told you it will open up your avenues in this life and you will get what you really want in this life so this is a law of attraction you create that optimism the positivity the energies you know that will that surrounding will change your life completely you know there's there's a law in science it says energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only be transformed so we in this world all all stress out especially in the lockdown situation we are seeing how the situation has become people losing their job people you know even uh, they are they are uh, they are in a bad situation in their businesses there are a lot of emi is this and that rentals lot of situation is a bad situation so in this situation the only thing which will help you to overcome is your optimism and from where you will buy optimism where only through your connect so meditation will change your life i promise you that so it's exactly 6 o'clock here and uh, <clears throat> uh, i would now start reading those messages and if anyone uh, would be here i will request uh, you know the person who is handling it uh, she can unmute you and we can sh- uh, talk to you one on one and can understand each other more yes sir if you have any questions or need to speak yeah if you have any question you please go ahead and i will read by that time if i can see any but there are many actually here so the last one was uh, till someone ashish has asked what is easy to balance heart or mind see both are challenges the moment uh, you know you you surrender you are done so i think first it is evaluation it is a very good question actually ashish thank you you know your heart may uh, may trap you your mind may 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 force you to do something so it is not which is right heart or mind which is right that is not the right question sometime it heart may take you in the right direction sometime your mind will will tell you what you are thinking is not right 
but, but maintaining a balance by creating that kind of spiritualism in you. The connect in you will give you the right answer. The instincts, intuition will never go wrong. Intuition is a mix of your heart and your mind. That is the right answer. In, intuitive answer, intuitive suggestion is a mix of your heart and your mind. So if, if anyone who is intuitive, they don't need any astrologer. They come up with a, I, because intuition is a thought, but every thought cannot be an intuition. So intuition, your intuitive thought will help you to plan your life in the better way. Thank you, Ajish. Your poetry is amazing and soothing. Thank you so much, Anjuji. And um, Pratham is asking, uh, isn't thinking uh, from our mind more important than heart in this world? <sighs> That one way you are right, Pratham. Yeah, I know it is a very good question you have raised. Mind is more supposed to be uh, practical in nature. Heart is more supposed to be emotion in nature. And whenever we follow emotion, we are in situation. So one way what you are saying is right. But sometimes, uh, as I've said, you know, I want to go outside and study no matter what. Then this is your mind which is forcing you to do that. Your heart deep inside will tell you, no, I think I don't need to put pressure on my parents. Uh, you know, journey. So, let, you know, it is okay. It is not like, you know, people who study outside overseas, they only uh, prosper or do good in life. There are a lot of examples you see, you know, who have done their studies from India and they have done something great. So it is, it is just in your mind. And now because of the change situation, you know, people will be more happy to study here than, than be in an alien country and become vulnerable. Amira is asking, I agree. A lot of people think that parents are trying to dominate us or decide our life for us. Yes, <laughs> but they are well wishers. I'm a student from US and I would like to tell all the students here to respect their parents and realize that even their anger has love hidden in it. And US teenagers don't understand this, but India still has a compassion left here and will be able to understand this. And will be able to understand this. Amazing, Amira. I am clapping it for you. Absolutely. She, see, she is there. She realizes it because she sees how things are in the US, especially Americans. I am not saying Indian Americans. Americans, they have a different culture. Once you are eating, you are done. They will say, oh, now if you want to stay with us, you have to share your you know, bill for your electricity and rental and whatever. It is a different journey. There is no, you know, they, they have just a responsibility to, 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 com to help you to complete your studies, not about your career or your, your marriage or your journey later on. In India, we have a bond forever. So I think you have, you have, to, you have to have a strong bonding with your parents. Thank you, Amira. Thank you, Yeah, can I speak for a Okay, you want to take uh, some question? There are a few more which uh, I can read if you want or you want to take uh, live. Okay, let me uh, fulfill one, one request from Anju. Uh, she she wants me to recite one more time on Rishto ko bigarte dekha. Haado ki lakiro ko badalte dekha. Har roz sitaro ko nikalte dekha. Be vajah hi rishto ko bigarte dekha. Khwabo ko hakikat se ladte dekha. So Anju, I think this time you, you, you have recorded it, I guess. Uh, Nidhi uh, Garani is, has written currently pursuing a certain degree, but you don't know if that is a degree which you actually want anyway to resolve the confusion. Yeah, Nidhi, I understand. You know, one thing I, I believe in, there is no coincidence in this life. Yeah, there are sometimes there are incidences where a doctor uh, has become a singer, but that is a very rare thing. Well, normally what happens is, you know, as I've said, you can't choose your family. Same everything, you know, it will come to you. It is not you, what you seek is seeking you. I believe in that. So sometimes it comes to you. The seeking will seek you actually, whatever it is. So what I'm saying is don't have that doubt. If you will have a doubt, what I'm doing is right, then you will be in situation. So just keep going with the flow. You know, I've done my uh, graduation in, in, in Bachelor of Science and I'm an astrologer, motivator. It has nothing to do with that kind of science, what I have studied. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm very happy. I feel I'm blessed doing whatever I'm doing. So your journey, your destiny will force you for your path which you are supposed to follow. But don't bring any doubt in your mind. Otherwise, it will pull you down. Anju ji is writing. I don't know Anju. Uh, I think there are a few teachers also. So I, uh, why I'm saying ji here? Because I don't know if you know if I say Anju and uh, Anju happens to be a professor, then it is bad on my part. So I'm. She is actually a principal. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I maintained that Anjuji. Okay, so Anjuji is writing. Br okay, brilliant poet and orator. We hope to interact once more in a poetry session. Definitely. You know, I, I have written a poetry actually on this Anjuji. I, I must say that. 
मिलेंगे तुम्हें जब जरा फुर्सत होगी मिलेंगे तुम्हें जब जरा फुर्सत होगी कुछ लम्हे साथ गुजारने की जब हसरत होगी सो डेफिनेटली वी वी कैन वी कैन डू दैट थैंक यू यस because anju kapoor sounds like a you know someone who has authority so i was deliberately saying g i didn't know that she is a student or the principal <laughs> so my instincts are working i guess <laughs> so it is uh, is it really our intuition or gut feel or is it really um, me continuously um, thinking about that particular thing to happen parushi uh, mutha has an has a question here uh, okay so <clears throat> see uh, the thing is it is a very dicey thing i just said intuition can be a thought but every thought cannot be an intuition so if you are thinking about something you know i i really i'm in love with this person and, and and i will get married to that person and maybe you are thinking horribly wrong you have no idea you know who about that person so uh, what i say is you know i i i always say you have to leave things to time instead of deciding is decision is something which you should leave for the last moment you can evaluate things which you are not sure of So leaving things to time will definitely help you that answer. Yeah, but one more answer to it: if you if you promise me that you will do meditation, then whatever intuition you will get, it will never go wrong, no matter what. Omkar Thakur is is saying something. I have a question: those nine out of ten people who said they don't believe in God, was there a pattern in their experiences? If someone had a logical backing uh, to their belief, see Omkar, I must tell you, this new generation, uh, uh, you know. i'm sure you are one of them they are uh, though it is a wise question i don't know a student is writing that so still i am not sure but if you are a student i i, I definitely appreciate you know the, it is a it is a very heavy question on that on your part that way it is a philosophical one actually um, if you are a teacher then i'm not surprised but if you are if you are a student you might end up in becoming a teacher okay anyways <laughs> so what what i'm saying is uh, about uh, those students the new generation i was talking about uh you know they when i said you know they they say they don't believe in god actually uh, this young generation is all about logic they want logic for something when they see people uh, doing some rituals in whatever religion you are born in uh, they don't feel connected in that you know we have a group here um, every day every morning you know since uh, this lockdown we are all connected in the zoom webinar from 8:30 in the morning 8:30 to 9:30 and there are a lot of eminent people that include anup zolota ji you see the young and there are a lot of there are a lot of interest here you know we have a small group of around 20 25 people and every day we interact about on different topics so we we came up with this this uh, this topic also in in one of the days and and uh, uh, this new generation even i said that there that new generation you know the yeah, talk was on religion versus spirituality that was the topic i remember now so it says you know if if you if you if you see religious side then you may not be able to connect because you don't have time and you are too occupied because i said when i started with my talk with my childhood my era with no mobile in hand and no technology of any kind and now comparing with you you have no time because you are occupied your mind is occupied all the time and in this uh, over occupied uh, life of yours when someone will tell you to do something do some prayers do this aarti do this puja do your ibadat whatever you will not be able to do it so what i am saying is you know religion may put off and it may go against uh, those uh, young people to feel connected that is the reason i always say spirituality is above religion so understand the essence you know the, the hand of god should be there the blessing should be there you should have that faith which is very important you can't choose your religion follow it you don't need to find logic for everything in science they say you know nothing if, if there is no proof they they don't follow it but i say always say that if something cannot be proved that doesn't means it doesn't exist that means it can be a substance that it has be has a big reason for it so faith has no proof but faith can move mountains as they say so the belief has to come and then he, people who are spiritual no matter what is they are in they always feel blessed and they feel how you know the journey uh, you know the changes for them and make them happy Where was I? Change of thinking. Uh, where was it? Oh, so Omkar, I hope you got the answer. So I have already done our part in a situation. How do you wait for the result? Patience is difficult to. Yes, patience is zero. Aditi, no patience, no tolerance. This is what youth is known as. No patience, no tolerance. And I must tell you, you know, they say that sabr ka phal meetha hota hai. You know. 
which is very very important if you uh, you know i am a define i am a very creative person i must tell you that you know there is a word called delay the patience you know the patient you have to have patience and things are delayed so i i uh, you know i define delay as delay helps you to lay the foundation d lay so it helps you to lay the foundation so any kind of delay happening like this is a, a moment of delay what lockdown nothing is happening nowhere is moving no way to go so it is a delayed phase of your life so this is the time you should lay the foundation work on your hobbies learn meditation learn, learn some kind of yoga read some scriptures what you have not done till now in this grind this world of grind and i wrote it once on this ki raftar zindagi ki badh gayi hai kuch is qadar raftar zindagi ki badh gayi hai kuch is qadar ki wo bhi bhag rahe hain jinhe kahin jana nahi so everyone is running behind something and i don't know where they have to go somewhere nowhere so what i'm saying is have some patience isliye kaha jata hai sabar ka phal meetha hota hai to geeta mein puri kahani likhi hui management of life you will learn from geeta so the more patience you have the more fruits you will get so that is very very important so you need to have that acceptance that it is delay and and, and every kind of delay is not denial you know sometime i've seen people they close the window the moment you know some it was about to open an opportunity you close it so the patient more patient you have the more of chances of getting your things done so please have it thank you aditi how to change our thinking pattern which is really important and difficult to khushi shah it is about moment of realization today if i am able to tell you this is something that you need to change you should start working on it as i've said the sin is fixed one can change but a change is change when you change to so first accept it i need to change if you feel i am i am good enough and i am perfect then you, nothing will change waqt ka kya bharosa har waqt badal jata hai hum to nahi badle par ye waqt badal jata hai to bhai jab tum nahi badle waqt ke hisab se to waqt kaise badlega tumhare hisab se to change with time very important anju ji i appreciate you saying g but i am a fan of people who can talk about hope optimism as aaj uski zarurat hai बहुत सारे दिल टूटते देखे हैं सर इन द पास थ्री मंथ्स रिलेशनशिप काउंसलिंग इज माय अल्टरनेट पैशन सो टू मच पेन ऑल अराउंड आई रियली अप्रिशिएट दैट अंजू जी एंड एंड यस यू आर आल्सो यू नो गिविंग योर बेस्ट एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी नीड टू इंकलकेट यू नो बिकॉज एनर्जीज we need to create that positive energy all around this is a very very dicey situation we are all in so please don't make it complicated and thank you so much for your compliment anju ji this is quite motivating for me as well Uh, from pratham it is sir i trust in logic and practicality uh, over emotion in most of the situation so is this good or i need to change i trust in logic and practicality over emotion more than see if you become too uh, practical pratham then you will not be able to value your relations because we are from indian re uh, region and here emotions plays a very very important role as i just i gave you a lot of examples you know if you are thinking uh, practically then you may may be leaving lot of your relations behind so i think there's a balance that is what we are talking about between your mind and heart so you need to maintain a balance so i i hope you got your answer and yeah you it is good always good to change for better uh, suraj what is your take on overthinking i already said that please don't think too much it will kill a lot of confusion the lines on your hand will be because of overthinking and that those lines are i always to say self created hurdles self created hurdles because of your mind so let go your thinking uh, thank you you have another zoom meet with my retired friends group okay anju ji please it was nice interacting with you here hope to see you some day one on one thank you for having me god bless uh, sanya is saying sir will you will you recommend the book autobiography of a yogi to a student who wants to discover the path of spirituality or is it important to know about some kind of basic before reading this book see i am a very pathetic reader i am i am not very versed into reading but yeah uh, i i must say if anything which is attracting you is coming in your mind then you should definitely read a book because scriptures written thing any kind and if you have interest in that will help you to understand more rishita the yogi saying sometimes you come across stubborn people and it becomes difficult to have patience how to deal with them Okay, so can we take Rishita? Um, uh, you know, unmute her and talk to her. Yes, sir. So, Rishita, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, good to hear your voice because it was me who was talking from you know continuously since last almost one and a half hours now. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So, how uh, did you like it in a way, or did you can you connect? Yes, sir. 
I definitely did connect, sir. But sometimes, sir, uh, I feel it becomes very difficult to, uh, you know, understand their part because we think that you know we are like that we wish good for them only. But then still, sometimes it doesn't come across in a nice way, and then uh, something goes wrong. So then, what are we supposed to do? What are you studying, uh, Rishita? So I'm a student. I'm I'm a UPG student. If uh, I'm a first year student, BMS. BMS. Okay. See, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, uh, like your question is about uh, across stubborn people. So you you I think you must be uh, either uh, complaining about your siblings or your friends. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, everyone is different. This is human psychology, as I've just said, is complicated. and uh, no two people can be alike it just how uh, how much acceptance you have towards a person so if you feel this person is stubborn but he, the person may be having other good qualities then let it be having have that acceptance you know it will help you to become a great wife later on <laughs> <laughs> what i'm saying is you know you need to learn the power of acceptance you know because if if people feel you know listen to me what i'm saying and what i'm saying mm. is right then it is not a right thing but sometime for the sake of harmony for the sake of relationship you you can you, you you may change your friend but you can't change someone who is with you forever maybe it could be your sibling it could be your uh, life partner later on so you need to have you know as i say if you cannot beat them join them so accept the way the person is a stubborn person can be amazing also you getting me yes 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 And stubborn people they have one weakness it is easy to provoke them So if you if you say you know I have I have decided to do this way no 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 what you are saying Saloni I don't want to do that I think let's go to a movie instead of uh, going for for a lunch so so then she will be offended because she's stubborn so what you you do, you can do is I'm giving you an idea you tell Saloni mm. who is supposed to be your you know I'm just saying, what I'm saying is you just tell her that you know I think um, uh, what do you think about going to a movie oh she's asking me. she will feel feel good about it and she will she will end up in going you know with you for for that movie so what i'm saying is you need to rephrase your your person who is stubborn now if you are wise then you will handle that person according to that person because you cannot change this world you have to change according to this world to be more happy otherwise if you keep on deleting neglecting those people whom you don't like because of one or two weaknesses because no one is perfect then you will be a loner you getting me yes 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 sir so i hope you got the answer and you will try to work on it the way i am trying to advise you yeah 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 sir definitely okay thank you so uh, much amira has a question so i'll unmute her now okay god bless you yeah yeah so, um, yeah. so i wanted to ask that um like what is the perf- like how do we as students keep the perfect balance between uh like materialism and spirituality just because like a lot of times our desires if they're excessive become selfish and uh you know to you know self absorbed but then the opposite can lead to depression and anxiety and suppression so does what exactly does meditation or like these breathing techniques have in it that help you keep the balance like what is that power like i know it's there my mom tells me but what is it exactly that it has in it that knows that you when to keep this exact balance and like how to be able to do it uh, sorry i missed out with your name uh, amira abid abid is, is a beautiful question which you have asked and i think it it implies for everyone and uh, that that is uh, that is a conflict in life you know want of something and uh, and then maintain something uh, like the balance which, which you are saying maybe it could be circumstantial or it could be something which uh, you are not getting permission to do you know your your middle is again i think you also asked about um, spirituality so i think first you need to realize it they say in in life the moment of realization is 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 the biggest moment of your life because you need to evaluate what exactly your desires are so if if you understand and and then then work on it like 1 2 3 4 5 these are your desires and this is a situation you are in so one is supporting your desire the other one is not supporting at all so if is the situation where you are in is not supporting your desire i would say bring down in the list then bring another 
another uh, one from the list up up the ladder and work on it because everything has time nothing comes before time so one answer is that other answer is if you if you will become spiritual and spiritual again i must repeat is not doing something religiously spiritual is spirituality is even if you are doing something religious it has to be spiritually done the connect the form of god you believe in so the more people become spiritual obviously with the help of meditation the faith and belief and and falling in love even you know they say i'm i'm firm believer i'm i believe in god i love my god so there is a there is a bonding actually with that kind of energy so if you are in that zone then you will never ask this question again because you will get the right answer all the time you will do what whatever you are supposed to do whatever is right for you whatever you deserve and sometimes whatever you desire so deserve and desire all come become one when you in, you are in that space so if you start working on that line then i don't think you will you will have any conflict till that time leave things to time because whatever is destined it will come to you i promise you that there is no if and but it's not like oh i should have waited for long you know i could have married ashwara rai no <laughs> so everyone is a part of destiny everything is all predestined i know it, it may sound impractical to you if everything is destined then why you are working hard i already said that you have to take initiative you have to work hard to get something done time is good to get 100 out of 100 after working hard you may get 60 you were supposed to get 20 the so hard work plays an important role so desire and hard work initiative and and working towards it will define your destiny a luck factor so luck is something which can be influenced which i said 30% is always in your hand no matter what, what situation you are in so if you are channeling that energy in the right manner you will influence your destiny i am astrologer since last 20 years and even in spite of that i'm saying that yes you can change your luck thank you sir thank you, thank you. thank you so much sir well, i think we are we are uh, i will just are, how do we student find the perfect balance between materialism and spiritual acha okay this is the one she said okay she asked me and then she has written there as well okay yeah okay amita yeah so sir i think uh, there are plenty of questions plenty of things to be asked but i think we are running out of time and mm -hmm. uh, i would definitely uh, would like to tell you sir that if something good has happened in this pandemic it is this last 90 minutes in this last 75 days uh, so as they say that you know every dark cloud has a silver lining so this entire session has been for a lining that has been personified you you on behalf of svkm's usha pravin gandhi college of arts science and commerce our president shri amrish bhai patel our college mentor shri harshit bhai shah our principal dr anju kapoor entire team of internal quality assurance sir and department of bf film television and each and every participant from this uh, wonderful webinar i would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart sir the session was really enriching engrossing and engaging we would like to host you soon with more such sessions sir thank you thank you once again uh, special thanks to krusha for always being there for handling the department technical department side so beautifully and thank you shiran sir for uh, generating the link uh so we would definitely like to have uh, you uh, coming and inspiring and motivating us uh, time and again sir thank so, well, you thank you for your uh, kind words and it is quite motivating to me as well and i think if i can bring any change in any any person's mind and eventually life i think uh, i feel this is my task and accomplish so i think uh, everyone has a purpose in life and i am trying my best to, to do whatever i can do in the best possible manner god has been kind so i i just thank you again to have me uh, here and uh, god bless us all be keep yourself safe be at home keep maintaining those uh, guidelines by social distancing but at the same time create that harmony and happiness of home which is very very important and your smile will let your mind so yeah this is a good thought actually before i leave keep smiling because when you smile your mind will think that you are happy due to some reason and you will eventually become happy so you need to you know this is the balance which you can create between your heart and mind keep smiling and both will be good and i wrote it once uh, you know even on that zindagi mein muskurane ki aadat zarur dalo zindagi mein usha ji may miss that so maybe she can listen to the recordings or you write it somewhere <laughs> just okay so zindagi mein muskurane ki aadat zarur dalo aur na mile koi vajah to aina hi dekh dalo at least smile on yourself but please keep smiling thank you god bless us all thank you sir thank you once again welcome